tell me I just wanna get my family out these streets At war with myself, they tryna figure out what's wrong with me Been pulling for cause I can't go to sleep I seen the closest to me walk out, said they never leave Damn, like, <laughs> yeah, that was the only thing I didn't grab with the lighter, but we got yours. That's crazy. And it's purple, so I like purple. I fucks with it. I just made purple shirts. Are we live? Yeah, we are now tuned in. Yeah. And the place to be, home of the gas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Welcome back, man. Blazing Questions. This is episode 25. Damn, 25. You are the 27. Two plus five is seven. I'm with it. <laughs> yeah, two plus five is seven. Actually, like I was saying on the last one, I think this with you here, we officially changing the name. It's been growing a lot in okay. the last year that we've been doing okay. this. Okay. So okay. we are now switching the name officially from Blazing Questions to Respect the Hustle segment. Oh, okay, okay. So Which... now, um, previously formerly known as Blazing Questions Shit. is now. Respect the hustle. Well, we respect the hustle. Highlight the hustlers that's out here putting their grind on the on you know, out for the world. Whatever their projects they doing, the artistry, um, the person, the businessman, the person behind the bar, the clippers, the barbers, all that. So, I mean, I appreciate that. I'm humbled um, <laughs> and I just appreciate the nod, is recognize of the hustle in me yeah, as I do recognize reciprocate the... as to you as well, hey, Mr. AP. <laughs> Working, working, working all the time. So, what did I just do with that purple one? I don't know, man. <laughs> I lost a lot. I know, right? I lost a lighter, and I ain't even moved. Right behind you. How to get behind? You Look, but I don't know. Pause, but you got behind you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome here, man. Hey, how you feeling today? It's hot today. Uh, today is ah, uh, uh, it could be hot if you out there just chilling a lot in the sun or something. Record like breaking hot. But uh, I'm. I'm good, bro. You see my man jeans too. You know, like I'm yeah. comfy. <clears throat> I'm comfy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I thought it was great. Uh, I mean, we're coming out of you know consistent cold, so now we're getting consistent warm with the very frequent, you know, in between little bit of cold. Oh, like it's supposed to. Is it supposed to Friday? Friday. It's, yeah, it's yeah, supposed, it's supposed to, to get a little cold on Friday. It's supposed to like rain and shit. Uh, and then, <laughs> then it's gonna be right back at it. Next right back week. at it. In the 80s, in the 90s, welcome to Colorado. Uh, that's what they we're gonna say. Do that, and we're going to do that all the way until, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, August. Yeah. <laughs> all summer long, Colorado does the same shit. So, they right. say wait 10, minute, t- wait 10 minutes in the weather change. Oh, it does. It's <laughs> really, it's so fast. So, but with that being said, man, this is episode 25, man. And you are a videographer out here doing your thing. Thank you, man. You know what I'm saying? So, go ahead, look in that camera and introduce yourself and let them know your name and where you're from. Uh... I go by Joey Sparks. That's two E's, no Y. You heard me. That's two E's, no Y. Um, I run Justice Media LLC. Um, uh, Amazing work. Uh, probably most known here in Colorado for shooting music videos. But, I mean, I do live event capture. I shoot boudoir videos um, with a talented photographer, Leah Flores Photography. Shout out to her. Um, and her boudoir is set up. I do the video backup on set for there, along with um, some other talented people over there as well. And then... Um, Shout out to the creators. I, I also do real estate videos, too. So, hey, um, he said he has the, the many areas. Those are the pretty constant. But what my favorite new joint now is working with, like, specific businesses to, like, tailor video to help them eliminate a problem save them time or ultimately get them more money so i hey. think curated packages for them to stay so sometimes you know you just got to look like that influencer in whatever field you're in like if you sell tires but you look like a youtuber <laughs> now you look like the 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 elite person or the person who knows the most about it so gotta gotta hey Expand your audience. I, it's, it's stupid business rhetoric. Nobody's entertained with that shit. It works, no, though. But respect the hustle. Yeah, yeah. What he said. So, how long have you been out here shooting? Uh, I started, I mean, I've been out here, I want to say 07, 08. And he said putting the time um, in. No, 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 no. Not like <laughs> shooting, but like I've been out here. But I didn't start shooting until 
2015. Okay. Um, hell, I didn't even have social media until like 2015. <laughs> I, just, I didn't have social media until about two and a half years ago. Oh, uh, say word. <laughs> I, I never uh, wanted to get into it. I was like, that seemed weird. Everybody know where I'm at. But then I was like, when it's time for business, you got to play. You got to play the game. You got to play where people <laughs> play. So oh. I'm going to play. Yeah, so that's where I'm at too. That's what kind of got me on. Uh, my friends out here was like, bro, you, you don't do anything social, like on social media. And I was like, what's the point? And then I bought cameras and it was like, I, I have to do it. I have to do it. <laughs> Yeah, I just do it for everybody else. That by the time I get to doing it for me, I just ah. Uh, so I try to try to remember that, and I'm always constantly trying to do it for myself. But it's it's just hard to remember. And sometimes when I push away, you know, that real estate project because I shot you know like three in a week, and I'm like, yo, you know, I'm <laughs> trying to sit back and kick it with my kids. Yeah, like, you know, like, yeah, like, uh, no, no editing, man. man. Just trying to watch them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, like, I could write a script and put on some more entertainment for you, but I just, you know, I don't know what my niche is yet. Right now, my YouTube's kind of mainly dedicated. The most thing I'm passionate about is uh, some of my music video reviews. Okay. Um, just as me giving con content, and I've got a bunch shot, just they're not edited. <laughs> and the editing, everyone wish they so had more time. So if anybody is it. looking <laughs> to make maybe a little bit of money, got Adobe. <laughs> uh, I, I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> so like, tap fun. in, <laughs> you know. But uh, yeah, man, I just fingers in a lot, and then uh, I just started in music videos in 2015, and then I just kept growing, and then. And I just made it my main driver. Okay, okay. So in 2015, man, who was your first you know, person that you were shot? That's like, this is my first good work of art. Um, I mean, I shot a lot of folks. My my favorite first piece of something or something? Yeah, yeah. Your favorite first man, piece. Man, I don't know. There are so many people. So many people would be so upset with me and be like, man, I might have been this or that. I was really your first. And there's multiple firsts. But I ain't having y'all go look at none of those. <laughs> I already <pieces>. know. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember I shot one with um, Rhea. The All Star, okay, and it was at this greenhouse, and it had um, Hollow McFly, and out the city man, C yeah, C <laughs> Hollow was in it, and there was a couple other brothers there, um, and it was they, they all wore black and they wore their gold jewelry, and it like it was yeah, like that one black of, and gold just hit man, <laughs> it was like the first time, that, like, and I knew it was a perfect overcast. So I didn't have, you know, like I had to and worry about sun peaking or anything. Or... Any angle I wanted was going to shoot clean. So, <laughs> so. amazing. That's, that's what you call a uh, amazing atmosphere for a videographer. <laughs> yeah, man. I was like, oh, and everyone's here right now and they're all game. And so I just shot it a bunch. And that was probably the first one that I said, hey, man, I could probably, you know, I could probably make, make some money off of this and eat. And so then I just started shooting music videos. And then my list grew and grew. And, here we are. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey. Shout out to Rita. <laughs> hey, man. Sounds like an amazing time. I had kind of moments like that, and you know, part of my journey as well, too. So it's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you gotta love it. Yeah. So speaking of, what was the first camera you shot with? Oh man, I started off on a T six I. Ooh. So um, yeah, like Canon's, mm -hmm. you know, like. If you, for a videographer who's trying to be cinematic, it is you know low of the barrel, bottom of the barrel type of um, you know entry level camera. But it was great to learn, and I you know I learned the Holy Trinity on how to light off that thing, and you know coloring was still in the works. I'm still learning how to color. I went to like a Same. T seven I because I wanted two cameras, but it didn't make no sense to get another two. <laughs> I uh, so then but then after that I was like dang I need to go to GH5 because I need a 4k I need a 4k 60 4k 120 um and then and then last year I went and just got the a7s3 I said damn damn it I don't I don't know why <sighs> Sony, if, man. if you are in any field that uses some sort of tech as your tool um computers uh cameras anything digital like that some digital tech and you're going "Ooh, should i save some money now and uh, no 
just by it's the top, top of the line thing, right? With whatever money your money can afford at the time and get the most Bang technological advanced camera out there right then. Because you're just going to... They've already thought about it, and it does help you. <laughs> and it just takes out so much of the... I don't know, so much of the BS. You can get a good image off of any cam, any lens, in my opinion, if you know what you're doing. doing it, but it's just easier. Get a Sony. Get a Sony <laughs> game. <laughs> just get a Sony game. For video. Yeah. Uh, the, at least video. the A7S III. I, I, I'm not a photographer, but I do know that the photography in does not enjoy the A7S III because of the 12 megapixel um for the photos, and I guess you know, like that cuts down on ability to crop it. This is just me speaking yeah, all right. uh, outside as a video <laughs> guy and a non photography guy. Do you do photos? Yeah, I do to an extent. Oh, okay. like yeah. I got into cameras preferably to do videos, yeah. and then people are like, Oh, I need photos, I need photos, I need I photos. <laughs> I, was turning it down. I was getting, I was getting <laughs> money for video, I was getting paid for video jobs so much that I didn't have time to stop and then learn photography. <laughs> It's a whole different thing. I mean, it is it, to an extent, and I should I, like I, I'm really slack, and I should know how to take photos. But I was like, I can pull frames out. <laughs> yeah, if you really need a photo, I just, think about it. There's 24 no frames, frames just, and every second <laughs> of my video has potentially 24 photos. Oh, <laughs> but I mean, that's just math. <laughs> You know what I'm saying, AP? Nobody cares about that. <laughs> uh, 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 retention. <laughs> they start talking about they that talk brain about, issue. They're going through some other stuff. Yeah. Right. All right. Go ahead, though. So, but, uh, you said you've been shooting for a couple of years. So who's your biggest client you shot for so far? I mean, I, I just, I'm not going to be the one to judge big clients. Um, I mean, I, let's see. I... I just finished shooting probably the fourth time with Stevie Stone, a video with Big Mac, Stevie Stone. It's out now. Go to Big Mac's page. Big Mac's here, local um, local chopper, super <laughs> fast. And he brought a dope one. And I just had a concept. Trust me. And if anything, just subscribe to my YouTube channel because I do have some BTS shot for that one. And I... I, I I have a vlog in the in the works, so if you want to catch that vlog, <laughs> subscribe there. Check it out, um, gang. Because I'm gonna be I, <laughs> I, I shot interviews with P and all P's connections too. So that's you know, you know, like Ritz, Webby, uh, Tech Nine, like you know, like so. I shot the interviews for some of these folks. So I mean, Chris, Chris, Chris Calico <laughs> just came through, and we shot that. I shot with, on the the podcast. And we shot an extra angle for that, and his video numbers are going stupid, dumb, crazy, dumb hammer time. So, I mean, you know, but like to me, it's not about that because I think the reason why they asked me to shoot that is because I just, I just be in there and just be like, yo, let's get the work done. Get the camera, <laughs> yeah. I'll be fanning out, I'll be doing more. Uh, this, a <laughs> let's get the work done, gang. Yeah, I'm not here to fan out. I don't need a picture. I look, you look at my Instagram. I ain't got no picture with none of them. <laughs> you no, know, I kind of don't really. I have I have the footage of them, so you know I was it then. So many feet of them. I was right there talking to them during the. You understand, like, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm in. The, I'm in motion. I don't need the clown like that. <laughs> I just want the work to give me more work. Rightfully so, man. Your work, you know, is amazing. So Thank you, man. I appreciate that, man. I work really, really hard, and I'm. Uh, that was one thing I learned right off the jump. You got to be humble, you know, because there's a lot of people with these tools out here and a lot of people doing amazing things. And so once I learned that, then it's like, oh, you can only go up from there. <laughs> I'm not competing with nobody but me. You know what I mean? So, hey, man, I'm just trying to work on a collaborative project that's, you know, beneficial to everyone. Man, talk about <laughs> it. Hey, one of these days, soon, mm -hmm. real soon, we're going to work on something real big for the Colorado area. Mm -hmm. you know? I have no problem with that. And yeah, so that's, yeah, that's kind of why we, we're, we're branching together, bringing some of my video, favorite videographers. So, like you, uh, Haley, she be out there. Oh, sure. Haley, yeah. man, she she don't know low key. I'll be looking at her videos. <laughs> to it, no, yeah, she's dope. Yeah, uh, that's a bunch of them. I like Link in the bio. He's another dope one out here. Yeah, I like um, right now. Someone I like um, is vi Visuality. Visual. I'm not familiar. Uh, Visual Alley. Um, Lawrence. Lawrence. 
Spears or something like that. Also, anyway. like Mac, so Mac Films as well. Oh man, yeah, there's like I mean, <laughs> dude, I mean, my boy Jordan, I've always enjoyed his. Oh stuff. yeah, Jordan's his very color. clean. Like, yeah, yeah, very his clean. His color is phenomenal, <laughs> bro. So, um, yeah, no, rare, so yeah, respect, like I, respect, the, it's a lot of little gray yeah, areas yeah, out yeah. here. So hopefully we can keep growing. And I got a. a Big idea we can work on real soon. <laughs> oh shit! They so. hit me to the game. I <laughs> cameras off, so you don't be fighting. Yeah, we'll we'll come back to that. <laughs> but meanwhile, man, uh, this is like hustle high four K, man. We be in here vibing, listening mm-hmm. to music. So right. what's kind of three artists you kind of listening to and stuff right now at the time? Oh, an old head like me. Yeah, uh, man, to sure. What you be vibing to when you and your uh, space? Let me see. <laughs> I mean, I like, uh, I like, um, I got old head tasting music. So like, I've been through hip, like my first hip hop song was like, like Rob Bass. Like, <laughs> like, 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 like it, it back. takes two. Like, <laughs> like I'm old and shit. Nigga. Um, so. Uh, right now, Maybe just most recently, right. I'm listening to Millie's. I fuck with him, okay. the Boston white boy. He was out here, but he spits, and he always got a Jada Kiss track. So if that tells you what kind of level of spitting he Maybe. be doing, I fuck with Jada. Um, so um, I like that right now. But you know what I'm really listening to that I probably shouldn't tell nobody <laughs> right now, but I'm going to. It's somebody who not even real. It's not a real person. Um, it, uh, okay, here's the story. You know how like um, music groups and producers usually have like sub junior intern producers kind of creating some of the framework for some of our favorite hits. Okay. okay. And then, you know, the then the seasoned artist comes in, puts their do on <laughs> it and then say that they produced <laughs> it because yeah. it came out of there. So I guess this white dude named Deco who was behind the Migos or like in some of those songs or in like, you know, junior role like that going Went out on his own, but then he also created this like non real female, like digital uh, vocaloid trap rapper. Like, it's really crazy. She got beats that sound like Playboy Cardi. She got like really catchy tunes, but you can tell it's all auto tune and female, like AI introduced. Uh-huh. They're literally going on tour, and it's only like a like a DMX thing, or like a, a, a hologram or something like that. It's, it's one of my coolest <laughs> uh, listen tos right now. Her name is Yami. Yami. Yami Online. Okay, well, hold on one second. Hold oh, snap. This is the day's the heat. <laughs> the heat <laughs> is hot. <laughs> I don't even really feel hot, but I, but I feel like maybe I can't. <laughs> so hot today. <laughs> yeah, but man, back into what we was getting into, man. We just know you dive and learn more about you. Uh, uh, yeah, go ahead. So next, man, I want to. I know you're a sneakerhead, so I want to you know see what's your favorite shoe, man. What's um, like, what's the? Really I mean, okay, shoe, so man? I'm late into the game, right? Okay, okay. But um, it's because my oldest son started wanting sneakers. <laughs> So I started seeing him wear them. I was like, man, them look hot. <laughs> He's like, wait a minute. Yo, I, I'm is out. this what I've been missing <laughs> out on? I used to wear it proudly. Like, I'll be, I'll be wasting money on sneakers. <laughs> nah, that's all I do. Uh, uh, I got into it so I could get the old Chicago one OG high colorway. So I got the Lost and Founds. I'm looking to cop my second pair before I wear the pair that I own now. Hey. So they've just been sitting on me since <laughs> I ain't got an event worthy enough to bust them drums out and then since i got them i'm just kind of chilling out i'm checking for the unc toes okay og ones when they come up and the uh toro sixes that are coming up here for the summer those are the only two i told myself that i really want so far that i see coming out even though these lucky greens <laughs> like, man, i gotta say no to those that's this sad that's, that's hard man that's that a hard one but i'm gonna say no because i think they're gonna sit on shelves and if i really want them you know, get them. Yeah. So I, you know, I like, I like, I like the old classic stuff. My son got me looking into threes and shit like that now. So you know, we'll see. We'll see. What's your favorite number? Um, mine's got to be the one. Mine's. I love the the patent leather. <laughs> um, classic. That looks good, but like it's to me, it's the ones. I just can't. I know they're like dying to other people, and people ain't got hype in them. I still mess with them heavy, but I'm late. <laughs> but I'm late. Let me build up my ones, and I might feel like y'all feel like that. I um, had to. I had to put my one. I had to like put my love for ones to the side because I was buying so many pairs of ones right. as a teenager. I, I was like, look, I can't. I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, I feel like once I get my set of colors, then I'll kind of be like, no. Nah, <laughs> let me get these all in. A See, but I, I messed them all up. 
I ain't. My, as far as my one collection I had uh, as a teenager, I don't have that anymore. Uh, well, I mean, I, I don't expect no teeth. I, I watch yeah, with my son. Yeah. He's, he's so, crazy. More as an adult, I have more of a collection that I take care of. You know oh, what I'm yeah. But, yeah, that's why I told my son, I said, you should really only be looking to have two or three little change-ups at your age. Cause you gonna fuck because you don't fuck with Because you don't Jack. And then we can just get you Air Force Ones to let you ride in between you stunting. See because, the, but then when your foot stops growing, because like right now he got he balling in Grinches. <laughs> he playing basketball in Grinches. Oh man, my son is, doesn't even have a job. Anyway, Same man, no we, disrespect. See, we gonna we gonna get him on the hustle. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> see, you gonna know, uh, edit for me? Oh uh, no, it's funny. Uh, yeah, yeah, man, so I, like Adobe, but... I like sneakers. I like sneakers. No, no, most definitely. But speaking of basketball, man, I just got so Allen Iverson's the hoop in for basketball. Mm. I, I've been, that's the, the pair uh, I'm hooping in right now in my little league. Uh, what, what, like the white with the, the baby blue? No, no. The, the the, those are the ones I got from my brother. Uh, um, I got the white and green ones, the tunnel ones. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I wouldn't bet that, or I wouldn't doubt that those probably are like a, like a comfy sneaker. Especially amazing. Built it's, back then when they was bro, all clunky. Had, it was the like most was like amazing shoe I have ever put on for the first time. Let's go. <laughs> it was like, oh. Let's go. It well, don't feel like it needs to be broken in. It feel like it was already just like, like, oh, this is what I'm sweating. Yeah. I'm not carrying around a, a wet brick. <laughs> my T Max felt like that. I did not like my T Max. Yeah, man. I, I I found this out back in the day when Scotty Pippen dropped his little shoe alongside at some George, and it was like the Scotty Pippen like, two or three. And it was heavy as shit. Yeah. <laughs> I had to have them, and I was so mad when I spent all that money on them heavy son. <laughs> You know, boots. Man, yeah, I'm out boots. here trying to run around with the mischief. <laughs> but yeah, I like sneakers. Yeah, no, most definitely, man. Sneakers, basketball, it's all about. Uh, yeah, basketball, sneakers too. Yeah, like, sneakers, uh, yeah. uh, I have an original pair of the Giannis uh, Freak Ones. Ooh. So the I like Coming Giannis. to Americas with the. I got a video that I still haven't edited on that. <laughs> uh, coming up, coming soon. Coming <laughs> right. soon. Right. But I was I had to have those. That was before hell COVID, and I I just saw those and I like Giannis and I hate LeBron, so I was like, like let's, let's go. That's probably your man. You're young. No, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. No, That's your I, man. I, I, I'm throwing shots. No, that, I'm throwing shots at LeBron. Uh, LeBron is cool, but that, he's he, he's not my favorite player of all oh, time. Okay, like, all right. McGrady is my favorite player of all time. Oh, of all time. Yeah, That's not but bad. I'm not hating. But That's you're like up right now. Right he's now. <laughs> That's what you're about to say. <laughs> <laughs> but be honest though. <laughs> hey man, don't no one um play bully ball towards the basket like him. No, 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 no. nobody. I mean, no, Chicago, nobody so is. Hey, hey, you know what time it is? <laughs> well, well, okay, okay, yeah. okay, yeah. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. Oh, sorry, I'm wearing my um, dab hat. I can't <laughs> be wearing the Chicago hat. I pointed to my shit. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so basketball, man. The Bulls is always heavy on my heart. Yeah, so. I'm, I'm taking the game right now. Don't say nothing when we get down. <laughs> it's on DVR. So, speaking of, what's your favorite team? Oh, the Bulls. Uh, okay, okay. Bulls, respect, Cubs, respect. Bears. That's, that's what it is. Bulls, Cubs, Bears. Um, I'm originally from Iowa, but it was like four hours to Chicago. So, since we had no teams, we rooted for Chicago teams. And I rooted for them Cubs. Them Mangy ass Cubs all the way. I don't know about until the Cubs. We, though. Until we got our <laughs> win in 2016, Damn. and me and my dad was rejoicing and shit. It was like, yeah, they did that shit. Uh, Bears, I remember them in '85. They had the Super Bowl shuffle. Come on, man. Don't who don't who done turned a dance into? I mean, we went back. We, we talking about 1985, the 1900s, <laughs> the 80s. Like I remember watching the Bears in the Super Bowl was like '08. But, oh, I mean, that's trash. Yeah, that, that, yeah, don't, yeah. that don't count. <laughs> I don't even respect that. Oh, man. Devin Hester. Shout out to Devin Hester. I actually met Devin Hester. Oh, hey, classic. Just stand up, gentlemen, in my eyes, the way he uh, gave us tons of points. Uh, for the Amazing. Legendary. Was the, the, one of the best return return Yeah, ever, ever. All, All right. that. And then, like, I used to go to a bunch of Bulls games, too. So, I'm a big fan of just, like, the, the 03, five, like, from, like, 05 to, like, 2010 team for, like, uh, Kurt Heinrich, Ben Gordon, Tyrus Thomas. Oh, wow. Uh, that was right before <laughs> I got in love with them again during the Rose era. With yeah, yeah, Gibson right. But, mm -hmm. and, um, 
So oh, Taj Gibson, yeah, Carl uh, Boozer. I was right uh, before the, the come up again. Yeah, you know, right before uh, the shot at home. Jimmy again. Buckets, come on. <laughs> man. We was here. And then guess who stopped us? Uh, don't, I was the, at the game. LeBron. No shit. I, I was at the, look, don't make this you. about this. Look, look, no, 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 I hated LeBron for that moment. <laughs> oh, I hated it for the whole thing because we could have beat him. They were really? sloppy. They were so sloppy, but we was we was young and not one. focused. Up and two one going into we the third game. We were not focused when not, we needed to be. Yeah. Like if something ain't working, we gotta try a whole different thing. That's when it our was team bad, was clipping. <laughs> That's when she was. Oh, let's show you this terrible. Go ahead, man, y'all. Don't even. I feel like the retention. They're all leaving. They're like, we can't see his phone. We're gonna leave. I was gonna show you a look. After the game, I was so mad. We went in and took photos of these. Oh, so, damn. That's the trophies, right? We thought we was going to win. Let me show you. We thought we was going to win. Mm. It was it was so close, bro. And then people was outside selling these shirts. Man. <laughs> man. I'd have been down. You know, that's my type of hate. <laughs> I, hate LeBron. I hate LeBron. Oh, man. Ten years ago. That's 2011. Uh, my son like steps. <laughs> I'm cool. I bought those outside the stadium. United Center. Oh. Dope shit. Yeah, man. So yeah. It, it it was a love hate relationship for right. with LeBron for quite some time, but uh, at, that 2018 LeBron was kind of different. So he he has officially made me a fan. Uh, well, I always liked him, but he he, he was you know stopping us from greatness. We we should have been up there, but anyways, back to what we were saying here, man. This is you said you were from Iowa, right? Originally, yeah, yeah, yeah man. So how did you get out here in Colorado? Uh, my folks had moved out here. I came to visit. I was like, yo, I got to stay out here and I'll couch for a little bit. This is, <laughs> this is fire. And that was, like I said, 07 maybe. Um, I had just finished like, my associates in like computer networking because that's just what I was going to school for. <laughs> I was just like, it's not what I wanted to do, but my younger brother was in music. And so like, I was like, you gonna need some behind the scenes. And so like, I was learning how to use video at that time. And then I got out here and I met my wife and we raised, she got the kids and the wedding all squared away. And then mm-hmm. I went to school for it. Uh, it was basically like a couple of internships here, like one up in Denver, one down here in the spring. Uh huh. And then um, YouTube University. And then I just said, I'm going to do it on my own. I'm gonna do it on <laughs> what so, he said, shout out to YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then boom, uh, that's how I ended up out here. But I mean, I, I've lived in Chicago, Omaha, and Lincoln, Nebraska. I mean, I'm Shout out to Nebraska. I had an uncle that's there. Man, I was <laughs> Shout out to my uncle, man. He be going crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah so, like, yeah, that's that's pretty fire. But last but not least, we are in, like I said, the home of the gas at the beginning of the episode. So, okay. Boom. Boom. While well, we got you here. Yeah. Joey Sparks, man. Yeah. What's one of your first time smoking stories? Um one of my first time smoking I was I allegedly may or may not have been driving a friend of mine <laughs> named Dominic and our other friend named Dante and no, no uh, kind I, of I, had, I had tried like inhaling before and it just didn't work like uh-huh. I tried smoking a couple times and it just never mm-hmm. and then that night we shared a blunt and now, I mean, we talking in the 1900s, <laughs> like, we talking a long time ago. Back in the day. So, uh, when, maybe early 90s, and then once I did that, we laughed our ass off. But my dad smoked and shit like that, so, like, I was just kind of like, and, but, like, he didn't drink like that. And then I would see like my friend's dad who drink and they'd be belligerent. <laughs> they always be fighting, oh, going to it. jail and shit. And I was just like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> that don't make no sense to me. And then I hit the herb and it was like, for me, I was like, oh, I like to think about stuff a lot. And this really helped you go and think about it a lot. And so it was my, you know, it was my preferred. Was my preferred. Yeah. My getaway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that other stuff being all rowdy. Like I, like you said, I've seen the same thing within yeah, my own family yeah. as well. So it's like, uh, I don't want to do that. No, no, I like chilling. Worst thing I got to do is worry about eating too much. <laughs> <laughs> Passing out too much. You know, right. like, take up too much of a long nap. So, right. But yeah, man, <laughs> that's kind of most of all I had based here. Did you have any events or shows you got coming up that you want to uh, drop for the people? Oh, man. They could do me a favor. And my man, uh, Black Pegasus, just dropped another video today called Planned It. 
featuring Godamus, okay. Sesku. Um, I shot the video for that, of course. Um, I'm super happy about it because I had to get in there and do a little bit of like After Effects. I had to create his um, YouTube counter okay. because the, the, the concept of the music video was based around um, his YouTube channel growth. When I met him, the first time I did a video for him, I want to say it was like 16K. And he just passed 70K the other day. So I had to make like a little timer of his um, subscriber subscriber count increasing. Uh, and so I was kind of proud of doing that since it was all based around like <laughs> just inside the computer effects and zooming in and out and stuff. So um, go check that out. That just dropped today. So run that up for us. That would be super dope. If not, you can find it on his channel. It's not out on my channel. Um, like I said, that uh, Stevie Stone um, feature on Big Mac, you can go run that up. That's Ghost. Shout out to Sunshine Studio. We shoot over there all the time, and they hook us up. They're about to do their third annual uh, Chris Webby uh, show this summer, too. So that should be that should be pretty much of a blast. Sunshine's always a, a, a jam. It's yeah, always man, packed. Always money. packed. Always selling tickets. Yeah. Always having people come through for the shows. And so those are kind of my, my, my little musical peoples and clans and stuff. So, yeah, I'd like to, you know, put some shine on them. Okay. okay. It sounds like a bunch of big stuff happening. I mean, yeah, keep man. it emotion coming. I mean, I got, I, you know, I got real estate war videos that I could show y'all, but them is kind of like, you know, they're already running in motion over here, and I usually don't use um, my platform too crazy. Hopefully there could be like a new venture on the horizon, but you know, I don't like to talk about stuff until it's done. So. <laughs> understand, mm -hmm. understand. You don't want to put any bad juju on it. Yeah, man. I just uh, wait until it's done, man. I hate people who tell me about that idea when they just had the idea. <laughs> you put no work behind the game. They ain't had enough. <laughs> and all the idea all of two seconds. Like I'll, I'll run on a nap, man. No footwork. Me. And then it's just like, wait until, like, why would you give someone else the idea? What if they were, they had the same idea, but they were almost ready to put theirs out there? Anyway. <laughs> agreed, agreed, you see? But, hey, stay solid and just do the work, man. Do the work. So, with that being said, Joey, while we got you here, man, what is a hustle tip that kind of you live by, kind of grind by, motivate you every day? Um, you can share with my people, man. Um, I, I don't know if I live by it. Well, I do try and live by it every day, but it's something once you kind of figure out how to do, it just kind of comes automatic. And um, if you are in your own niche, don't be in somebody else's lane. Like, I'm a videographer. You're a videographer, right? I don't be looking while we driving <laughs> in the same sh I don't be looking in your lane <laughs> I'm looking in my lane and where I'm where I'm destined to go if I get caught up in your lane hey. then I'm gonna I'm gonna have competition issues I'm gonna have like worry about this <laughs> and that no the only person I'll come turn with is the rear view and me getting furthest away from that and closer to what I have planned and so, in competition with yourself, man. If you if you do <laughs> roofs, don't look at the other dude who advertised that he does roofs really well and get jealous. Like, just do your get roof over that shit you know? and go look at how your last roof turned out to how this new mm -hmm. roof turned out. Yeah, just Try be a better, better judge. Yeah, better judge your own quality. I'm a, I'm my own harshest critic. <laughs> I can believe that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm always uh, like. In producing, I'm always watching my videos a hundred times just before I even export. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, wow. <laughs> but I'm always looking to get better, learn from other people um, yeah. and stuff in that nature as well. I feel like in this Colorado area, we can all branch together and we can work on a project that can kind of put oh, us yeah. like the next LA. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's, that's I'm all for it. You know, that's kind of the next steps. But that would be, like I said, for more off-the-camera stuff. But uh, <laughs> for here, man, I appreciate your time. Appreciate you coming through. Thanks for having me. It is a, <laughs> you, just, I, you just feel honored and stuff when somebody recognizes that stuff, so I appreciate it. Namaste. Uh, yeah, yeah, most definitely. You know, We only reach out to people we feel like we admire their work or have real you know, nice motion. So we respect the hustle 100%. It. Thank you, bro. <laughs> so, Salute. Hey, and to everybody that's keep watching and keep hustling, keep grinding. Till next time, we out. Yeah. <laughs>